And yesterday, uh, Coreper met uh, already to uh, start working on the implementation of paragraph 12 of the conclusions that, as you know, um, foresees the preparation of an additional package of sanctions in the four sectors that were already decided, the financial one, the arms, dual use, use and technology, and also the, uh, the criteria or the ways of extending the listing of people and institutions. Coreper uh, is going to meet again uh, tomorrow and then Thursday and Friday in order to finalize the work uh, in the, uh, by the end of the week. I said a strategic partnership is over. Clearly, it's over. Uh, for, that was a, a choice uh, of Moscow, first of all, and the consequence of the things on the ground. Is it uh, in our interest in the future to imagine that we, there could be the conditions, first of all in Moscow, to rework on a way to get a partnership? I think no reasonable European could say it's not, it would not be in our interest. But clearly, this is not the stage where we are now for the choice of Moscow. Uh, I don't know if that answers to the overall question if I am uh, pro-Russian or anti-Russian. I think uh, I would position myself in this. Our role there is not doing them ourselves, it's not our role, uh, but to support the initiative of the high representative in these fields. And let me just mention uh, the attention to the human rights activities, uh, in particular uh, religious uh, freedom and the protection of religious minorities. The work on the death penalty uh, on which Italy is very much, has always been uh, on the front line and is going to play a role in the next UN General Assembly as uh, presidency. Um, I would also like to mention women rights uh, and the fight uh, against violence uh, on women and domestic violence and uh, we will take the chance of holding the presidency uh, during these six months there are also the months where the Istanbul Convention enters into force, that was on the 1st of August, uh, to have an event together with the Council of Europe in Rome uh, on uh, um, the fight against uh, violence on women. We see it as, uh, as the core of the European project from the very beginning. We believe that uh, uh, going on uh, consistently uh, with the enlargement process is not only in their interest, uh, of the single countries that uh, are in, already in the process or are uh, hoping to get in the process, uh, but is in our own interest as Europeans, uh, as members of the European Union, um, for a matter of stability, for a matter of security, uh, for a matter of uh, economic prosperity. Uh, and uh, I think this is uh, as much uh, as a EU interest as it is a EU responsibility. La Turquie, euh, je pense que, même pour répondre à la question qui venait d'être posée maintenant, euh, c'est un des pays, peut-être les pays où euh, le processus de réforme politique euh, peut être euh, plus, euh, disons, euh, renforcé euh, avec euh, le processus euh, de négociation, d'accession. Sur la Bosnie-Herzégovine, ça, ça va vraiment dépendre beaucoup, je pense, de leurs élections qui vont être dans, dans un mois, un peu plus. Uh, we um, believe that Albania uh, uh, is a country that in the last uh, months uh, has performed incredibly well in terms of, ref of willingness of reforming and that the decision by the Council last June uh, is probably giving the right input to go on uh, on, the reform, uh, on the reform way. Uh, how to unblock the firearm uh, issue on the name? I'm afraid that I, if I had the answer to that, I would maybe win a Nobel Prize. Negotiations, as you know, are underway. Uh, there is, was a last effort uh, made by the UN uh, um, representative uh, in uh, July. He was visiting Macedonia firearm uh, in July, a few days after my visit uh, there. Uh, didn't uh, bring much results. Um, my impression is that we need, we will need uh, to have a plus of political will, uh, both in Firem and probably in other countries as well. And we might need uh, an additional uh, European uh, uh, protagonism in trying to solve the issue.